more digital fun. This time the entire card is going to be covered with glitter. And we're going to make this beautiful card right here using a digital image. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, this is Beverly Cole and today we're going to be playing with some glitter on a digital image and we're going to make it look so colorful. The first thing I want to share with you is that this image from the uh, Silhouettes Digital Stamp Set comes with the sentiment with it or you can get it without the sentiment, you can get it separate with other flowers, there's so many images. But I decided to use this one and I'm going to cut the sentiment off and I'm going to attach it later. So I'm going to go do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so here's those two images after I cut them. And these are, this is five by three and three quarters and this is about one inch by three and three quarters. So I'm going to put that aside and we're going to work on this image. Now I'm going to take two pieces of two inch terrific tape right out of my tape dispenser and I think I cut it really long but that's okay and I'm going to put it across and I did leave it long but I'm gonna put that right across my image like that and oh that's so sticky and then I'm going to cut off the excess by turning my paper over and trimming it off. Of course, I'm going to save that chunk. And this little chunk, I see this. I could make this, even though it's starting to separate, I could make that into my own mini glue dots, which I shared on the last video, how to do that. And... I'll put those over on top of my terrific tape on the dispenser. That way it doesn't stick to anything else. And now I'm going to tear off another piece. And hopefully it's not too short this time. Nope. Turn it around and I'm going to butt these right up to each other. Excuse me while I work on this close to me so I can make sure I butt them right up to each other. Okay. There. Oh, okay, those are butted up to each other. And now I will cut off all that excess. Oh, yeah, I thought I'd give you a thrill today and let you hear my actual voice. Aren't you thrilled? <laughs> so I'm cutting off the excess. Actually, the reason is, ladies and gentlemen, is that my daughter's pregnant with her third daughter. I mean, yes, her third daughter. And she's just told me that she's having some mild contractions all day long. So I'm thinking, well, I better get all this stuff done that I got to do so I can take off from Florida and head up to Pennsylvania and see my last new grandchild. I'm so excited. Now, this is covered with terrific tape. Okay. Now I'm gonna pull off the tape backing and I'm not gonna to touch the sticky area, okay? So there's one. Now, oh, try not to touch the sticky area. And then the second one. Woo! Sticky, sticky, sticky. So, I'm going to take one of these and I'm going to tear the edge. There we go. And I'm going to place it right across here. Let's make sure I get it kind of straight. I'll use my mat. Ah, wow. Yeah, you've got two pieces, so there shouldn't be any reason why you should touch anything. Now I'm going to line this up. There we go. And I'm going to divide this into four sections. So the first one is going to be here. And I want it to be nice and dark. Just for safekeeping, I'm going to put that one there. Okay. Then I'm going to get my trusty co coffee filter. Yeah, I'm having a flight. There. 
and I'll get that off the glass mat. Ugh, okay, maybe that's better. Oh, okay. Um, maybe I just put something there so you can't, it doesn't shine in your eyes. There. Okay, so I'm going to take some of this Luau. No, I don't think I want that. It's this Luau green is opaque. That won't work. So I think I will use. Microfine glitter that's not opaque. So, I think maybe some. Come on, you guys, it's gotta be something here I wanna use. Okay, I wanna use some butter. Nope, I'm gonna use. Margarita. Margarita, semi-transparent, right down here at the bottom, because it's green. I want green. So I'm going to dump it on, burnish it with my finger. Burnish, burnish, burnish. Semi-transparent, microfine glitter. Tap it off. Tap it off. Where's my brush? Where's my brush? Glitter brush. Okay, put that away. Oh, I spilled it. I always do that when I'm in a hurry. Why am I hurrying? It's no hurry, right? Except for the baby. The baby will be born any minute. Oh, I'm not there. Okay, so then, the margarita. Margarita. Really does. Look at that. Look like a margarita. Mm, okay, so now that one's going to stay where it is, okay, and well, I'm going to, I'm going to take it off, am I going to take it off? Yeah, I'm going to take it off, and I'm going to tear, I should have tear on both edges, really, that's what I should have done, so that was not right. I should have I started with a pair of scissors. I should have ripped both sides. Sorry about that. When you do this, rip both sides so you don't have to take it off like I just did. And then have to try to figure out where it goes. <laughs> okay. Right there. Okay, so that one's done. And I'm also going to rip this one. Oh, this stuff is hard to rip. The tape's easy to rip. This paper's not. <laughs> okay, so that's going to go here. All right, so now we're going to do the middle part, right? Now if you have a, yeah, press that down. And now we're going to do the skip the one and we're going to go to the next one. So I'm going to do some yellow. This is butterscotch. We'll do butterscotch, microfine glitter, and we will burnish that in, okay, burnish, 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 brush, 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 all the extra off so it's not a gift that keeps on giving. We've heard that before, haven't we? I have more fun with this glitter. Look how pretty those are. Oh, they're so gorgeous. Okay, so now I'm gonna peel off this one. And because these have already been burnished, what I'm gonna put in here will not stick to those areas. Okay, so I was gonna use teal, but that's opaque too. I need to use some that are semi-transparent. So I'm looking through my vast array Guitar. Okay, so now I'm going to use some of this Autumn Frost. And I'm going to dump it. Dump, dump, dump. Burn, burnish. Dump, dump, dump. Tap, 
it off. Look at that. Let's check it out. Look at those flowers back there. Aren't they gorgeous? Now I want a blue. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I have a blue. And I'm still building my collection. Still building my collection. This is good though because it's showing me what I need. So, got a lot of opaques. Okay, I'm not going to lose any sleep over this. I refuse to. I refuse. I refuse to. Waterscape, or should I use Autumn Frost? I use, should I use Autumn Spice or Waterscape? Let's do Autumn Spice. Okay, so this last one gets pulled off. I don't know, I think I'm going to do Waterscape. I think that might be really cool. Okay, so we're going to do Waterscape, semi-transparent, and it's Waterscape, but that means it's got sparkles. Look at the sparkle. And it's white, so pretty cool. So I'm going to bright burnish that in. Mm, 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 mm. So if you've got some semi-transparent colors that, you know, you get it more than I have. I've got a lot of glitter, but I learned my lesson. I've got to get some more semi-transparent colors. Of course, I'm very partial to fall colors because I was born on Thanksgiving, and of course, like most people, fall is my favorite season. Of course, I'm in Florida where we don't have any really fall. We have like summer and winter, and winter isn't even that bad. Hey, I think it's the first day of spring. Happy spring. <laughs> okay, so look, how gorgeous is this? How gorgeous is this? Isn't that beautiful? Now we're just going to mount this, and I think a nice color to mount it on would be maybe a dark green. Mm. Nah. Now, I don't have a piece of one of our digital papers, but boy, if I did, I could use it for this for sure that would be awesome so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through my backgrounds look at these backgrounds I got all kinds of stuff here that I've made and see if I have one that would work what do you think oh, that one or hmm. that one wait this one no that's better This one with the gold, gold, whoa, no, I think that one might work, that's kind of cool, that is kind of cool. And I've got some other backgrounds, but I think that one will work. And this background was done with some mousse at one point, and the sky's blue and the green matches, so I would say that's a winner right there, don't you think? Okay, so let's just attach this. Where should I pop it? Um, I think I'll just attach it with terrific tape and then I'm going to add the sentiment. Okay, come, oh my gosh, I've got this tape stuck to my fingers. What a mess. Look at this, look at this. Let's just stick it. And I have some extra pieces left over from before. I'm just going to use those. This is quarter inch. And some of some of what I used was half inch. And I just rip one more piece of half inch. It's a little too long. I just put it there. Now I will just pull off all of the paper backing. So don't ever throw anything away. Like I said. How many times? I don't know. I'm going to have to stop saying. Oh, well, maybe not. Because I truly believe it. It's Murphy's Law. You throw something away and you're going to need it. How many times has that happened to me? And I bet it's happened to you. 
Betcha. Okay, so now, woo, some stuff from another piece of cardstock or something got on or ink got on there. But you know what? It doesn't matter because it's gonna be in the back. Ah, oh, come on. Woo. Now, turn our card over. Oh, I just love that. And I just think this is fabulous how this background I have laying around is matching the card. That's just perfect. Wow, look at that. Mm, beautiful. So now, all we need is our sentiment. And I have it right here. And it's a quote from Helen Keller. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? So we need to put that on our card. And I'm not sure where I want to put it. The flowers are so pretty, but I think maybe right here would be okay. What do you think? Well, yeah, I think so. Right there. Right there. I just need to trim off a tiny bit, and I do believe it should have a mat. And I'm going to probably use... Yeah, that's better. Uh, maybe some gray. Darker gray. Darker gray. Darker gray. Dark gray. Dark blue. Is that blue? Does it matter? Could it be blue? It could be blue. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't like it. Let's see. Even black would be fine. That's blue again. Wow. Hold on. I'm coming. That's blue. Come on, boys. Perhaps, where are you? I know you're in here. Ooh, I've got this pretty green. I could have more green. Hmm. I don't know. If it's just too much green, we could double mat it. Let's see if I can find a piece of black that's hanging in there. I think so. Is that black? Black, black? Yeah. Okay, so that's like, all right, so I need it to be one and a quarter by four. that I really don't want that much border what do you think I think it should be narrow more narrow or should we do green first green and then nah it doesn't need that okay so now I'm just gonna glue this on well terrific tape this on with some in front of my camera. Four quarter inch terrific tape. Here's a scrap. Here's another scrap. Okay, and I'm just going to go take a sliver off of this. Okay, there. So I, I I didn't quite leave enough on the bottom, but you get the idea. It's really, I just love this. And I'm going to pop this up with some foam squares. So we can use some foam squares. Foam square, foam squares, foam squares. Well, I really messed up with that background. But that's okay. I think it might look kind of cool with just a little bit of black around one edge. <laughs> Make it work. Um, now I'm putting it right. Whoops, I want to get that bottom flower. I want to at least see a little bit. And there's our card. Look. How gorgeous. How gorgeous. So we call that layering with terrific tape and glitter. So you're going to start with your digital image, and it really looks great with a silhouette. Although you could also stamp um, on the background. My suggestion would be to stick with one color, probably black. Um, yeah, either a silhouette or even a stamp that's not colored in. But see what you come up with, and um, make sure that you 
give me a big thumbs up for this card and you actually got to hear my voice attached to my work instead of me taping it over my work, which I will be doing again. But um, I just decided I wanted to be present today with you. So be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss a video. <laughs> Have fun, you guys. Bye for now.